Amen. How we doing? You've been drinking since the last time I asked, haven't you? All right. I had the weirdest experience last week. I want to share with you as my little opener to get this thing rolling. I had lunch with a friend of mine, and I know this is going to be hard to wrap your mind around, but I have a friend from before you. Man, way to bury the punchline. Like I said, I had two friends. Had. I had two friends. Now we're back to one because I got rid of Monkey. That is from. Okay, Monkey. I still love you. <laughs> you going to let me get through this? Nah. Plowing forward. I had a friend. We had lunch. The interesting thing about the friend, the friend was a friend from before the circus. Before all of this. Yeah, right? Knew me before I did anything that anyone saw. Let that hang there. Okay, so I had that lunch with this friend, and he's, you know, he's got an interesting job, and he's an interesting guy. And I was like, how's your life going? He starts telling me about his life, and I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. And, and to be honest, it's summer. There's not a whole lot of stuff going on. So he's like, well, how's it going? I said, well, you know, Monday night's open stage. I host a variety show. That's the part where you cheer. <laughs> yes. Awkward extra noises. Thank you. All right, I'll be drinking all night. Tuesday nights, open stage. Once a month, we do the spin fest thing that we did last weekend. That was a lot of fun in the heat. And, and really, you know, we do a little of this, a little of that, some shows, you know, whatever. And that was about it. And his eyes started glazing over. And I realized, I don't think he believes me. He, I don't think he believes a word of it. So, you know, first of all, he's got to come. Jacob, you've got to come out some night. I'm calling you out. You've got to come out and see all of this madness. But more importantly, I started thinking about it. And I went, you know, if I was from the outside of all this looking in, and I said, and I told someone, well, I got friends who run a rooster, and I got friends who are nine feet tall and hula hoop and stilts, and I've got friends who are acrobats who've crawled off the front of a stage, and I've put on a show, I think they would think I was full of crap too. And at that point, I decided, my life is awesome! <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, and I see it every day, and I thought about it, and I'm out uh, at Circa not long after, and I'm thinking, you know, I do a trick, and my friends go, that's really good. Let's do the next trick. OK, so we do the next trick. And I did, another, you know, I did something else, and they're like, that's really cool. And I got up for the first time on, on power risers, which are jumping stilts, where you can jump six feet in the air, which I don't recommend at all. It was funny. It was awesome. But it was scary as hell. And I realized, my friends were like, that's really good. You're doing good. Now, now do some tricks. And we blew right past the awesome part. And I think it's amazing that this crew has gotten to a point where we have a skill level where you know, all of my friends juggle and do all this amazing stuff. And then, oh yeah, once a week we get together and sing and dance and produce shows too. But somewhere along the way, I worry that we might become blasé to all the awesome. And I kind of wanted to shout everybody out to this idea and say, Go do something periodically that puts you in a, a place where you're either doing something new or, or you go out and do, like I do shows every now and then, and I'll go out where no one has ever seen me. I'll do the simplest thing I know how to do, and they're like, oh, you're... No. <laughs> Though easy, not what I meant. I was kind of talking more of a performance. Well, I guess, yeah, it's kind of a performance thing, yeah. All right. Hang on. Internet, you're probably never going to see this. It's going to get edited, but yeah, it's their fault. OK. Um, yeah, I just didn't want, I, I wanted to kind of throw out there that the, the idea that we spend so much time wrapped up with so much damn skill, we should make sure we take some opportunities to you know, get the hell out there and be awesome and, and, and see it so you get perspective. The thing I loved about this group as it's grown, I used to say, oh, because all my friends are insane and do crazy things and shout at me when I'm on a stage. Go ahead. <laughs> just because I asked. The really cool thing about it is, you know, I started out, I wasn't a juggler, and I wasn't a clown, and I didn't produce stuff, and I didn't have hundreds of friends who, who did awesome stuff with me, and we weren't internationally recognized, and blah, 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 stuff you already know, cheer. Yeah, you already knew all that. But, you know, it didn't start out there, but you guys let me evolve right into it. I think the coolest thing that I would say now about this group is that I have full permission from those around me who love me, who call me friend, to constantly evolve. I want to thank you for that. And I wanted to just get like that serious long enough to say, hey, that's awesome. 
Thank you. Thank everybody. But you know, the first guy I met at, at Creative Motion was was Monkey, and he about yeah, I hit him in the ball. you certainly did. He about killed me. Six months later, I got my revenge, <laughs> and then every week he gets his.